How's it going, everyone? I'm Filthy Gamer 555, and welcome back to more The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. I was burning myself just now, but anyway, um, last episode we. What did we do? We left the mountains finally. I'm finally not on death. Flippin' Mountain. We moved on, and we are now heading toward the Rito, which we're not too far away. We're actually getting there. And. Yeah, so we came across the Serene Stable, where we ran into the one painter dude. He gave us advice on where to find the next memory, and we did find it. Oh, is it Donkey? No, we found the next memory, though, and yeah, it was a pretty good episode. We also did that shrine out that's over there, so that was cool. And now we've got some worm-related things, so we are now able, I guess, to start climbing our way to that tower, which I guess is the main objective right now. Oh, that's a beetle. Hi. Sorry, beetle. I already buffed me the last episode, so... Yeah. In this episode, though, we're gonna start climbing up there, so hopefully it doesn't start raining on me. We'll see. Should be a fun episode. I'm excited to do it, so... Yeah, let's get going. Of course, I'm a little terrified of, you know... Well, that. That looks like... The area where Mufasa dies or something. <laughs> Can you just imagine a bunch of them? What are they like? Antelope or something? Caribou? I don't. Not caribou. Um. Whatever animal it is. I don't remember the animal for some reason. But I could just imagine, like, over there on, like, the rocks, like, just right around here. You could just imagine Scar and Mufasa. Mufasa is like, help me, brother. And then Scar kills him. Spoiler alert. Who hasn't seen that movie, though? It's a good movie. <laughs> well, that was a little pointless, but doesn't it look like that? Like, it just looks like you'd see a lot of, like, a stampede go through there. I ain't going down there. I don't want to get hit by a bunch of animals. That's where they get ya. Actually, what is all that purple down there, though? I'm... Frankly, I'm not too sure. It looks like just something you can't go to, so I'm not going down there. I need to get up there, though. So, how does one do that? I guess I'll climb up here first. Okay, so we've got a camp. I also have, like, no arrows, so maybe I should have bought arrows from the beetle. But look who didn't do that. Me. I didn't. Oh, uh, there's a shrine down there, isn't there? Yeah, probably. I'm not going for a shrine down there. Oh yeah, we also got a new heart container. I forgot, we did that last time. We have 10 hearts now. So that's always a plus. That looks like a stone talus. I'm not going down there. No matter what people want me to do, it ain't gonna equal going down there. It's not worth it. Absolutely not worth it. I gotta get up this. How am I gonna get up there? I hate how open it is right here. Like, it's so easy to just get attacked. Oh well. Let's just make our way up. Okay, there should be some breakpoints here and there that should help me be able to climb this. I hope. All I know is I need to climb it because... I have to get to that tower. That is the objective, is climbing to that tower. That's what I want to do first. Oh, this is going to be a problem. Yeah, I'm going to slide down this. Yep, this is a bad area. Get my stamina back. Perfect. That's actually a really smart tactic. To let go and try to run for a little bit. Because then you get all your stamina back and you're just raring to go again. Alright. Um. 
I don't like this. I really don't. Oh, nice. We can take a break here. Now we can go again. The smart tactics of climbing. They're physically impossible, but they work. They really do work. I gotta get to that. Okay, there's Meadow. Oh boy. Scarier once you see its color. Much scarier. Hey, look, there's the stable I was just at. Cool. Okay, so we're not worried about Meadow yet. I'm worried about that. Do I want to go for that tower or do I want to go for... Th yeah, I don't care about these guys. Which tower is more closer? That one's probably closer, but that one looks easier to get to. Um, I can try my best to get over there. Oh boy. See ya. Mm -mm. No, thank you. I'd rather take my chances climbing the wall than I will take my chances fighting the stone talus right now. No. No. <laughs> I'm not dealing with that guy. That stone talus can forget it. I ain't fighting him. That is just, it was just not worth it. Probably would have knocked me off and I wouldn't be on... Hey, look at that. I just realized I did kind of just climb to the other side. So now I really can make it to that tower because I got over here. Miraculously, I got over here. Boom. Oh, nice. I heard these are actually good for repairing weapons or something. I'm just using bombs because I'm trying to save my stuff. Oh, jeez. Oh, I... Boy, I did that. Get up, Link. I want this. Stop it. Stop it. You can't just steal each other's heads like that, dude. I get it, it sucks. You don't have a head, but you can't steal heads. It doesn't work like that. They were literally stealing each other's heads. up no don't follow me my these bombs they love me or they love to run from me I don't know which one it is perfect I even got an arrow 
What was I doing? Right, I was trying to climb up this. And then all of a sudden, enemies just out of nowhere. A bunch of them. The strategy always works. See? Always works. Oh, it's further than I realized. Okay. Well, let me go and uh, eat. Uh, I'll take a small one for now, I guess. Well, I'm just going to get rid of this. I don't need a hasty. I'll take a spicy. There, I got five, more or less six minutes to get over there. Get the tower. Hang on. <laughs> I'm stupid. We're gonna save. It's too close to me for me to run from it. What are you? What are you? Can I touch it? I'm on it! Ow! 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 Nailed it! What the heck? What is this thing? Can you not fight it? Okay then. Well, that was silly of me. The so cold resistance won't matter. How am I supposed to deal with that then? I can't be over here then. I could be silly about it and still try, but. I'm gonna be silly about it, we're gonna keep trying. I can do this. I, I've done stupid before. You guys not know me? I'm all about being stupid. I just have to work fast, that's like the only thing. See, like, I can easily get up there if I can work fast. Thank you, Mifa. I just... Hebra Tower. Okay. Oh boy, this might have been a bad idea. Nope, it worked. I could just climb it. You ain't stopping me, game. I have made my efforts to get up here and I am keeping that going. Towers are always worth being silly for. Because, like, I mean, if you can get the tower marked down, then you've got it. You don't have to try and... Ooh, lightning. There's a storm going on over there. That's actually really freaky. Oh, that was a terrible jump, Link. Look, it's Meadow! Nailed it. Always a good feeling when I manage to climb one of these when I shouldn't be trying yet. It's always a good feeling. Hey, look, you can see a shrine. That's the one by the stable I was at. Oh, feels good. Climbed a shrine. Always worth it. Ta-da!
Okay, so what region is this? Oh my. That was a lot. Okay, yeah, that was definitely worth getting. Look at all that world we have. Look at that weird thing over there. The top right area. They looked weird. Okay. So, we have the Hebra Tower. To get to the Divine Beast, we have to go over here. And I did see a shrine over there. So let's try to get to the shrine. This shrine may actually not be worth trying to get to. But since I am stupid, I will do my best. We can make it. What is that? I don't want to know. It's like a snow version of a Lozolfos. To the shrine! Oh, I'm falling. Shrine needs to hurry up and start appearing. It fell closer when I was flying. Then I got on the ground, and then it's like, oh shoot, this may have been a bad idea. And hey, look, it's a moose. It's a moose. There it is. Oh, we made it. We made it to the shrine. It's worth it. It's worth it. I mean, I took a lot of health to get to it, but it's worth it. Rin Oya. I'm near a stable. Who lives out here? Who's that crazy? Why would someone live out here? It's freezing. Granted, I just don't have clothing that can let me live here. So maybe that's part of it. Okay. I am surprised I made it to a tower and a shrine in cold weather that I shouldn't be able to go. That's a Canadian for you. That's what we do. Well, that's what I do. I like to walk in the cold. I deal with cold a lot. And I'm used to it. Link is clearly Canadian. Anyway. What do I do here? I'm assuming if I throw it, it's just going to go all over the place. Okay. Wait. Hang on. I see what to do. I just need to figure out how to do it. No! Oh, stop it! I see what to do. Go! I didn't get whatever chest might be in here, though. Eh, whatever. Okay, so there's a chest. Oh, I see how I would have gotten the chest. Maybe I should. I am in a snowy area. Maybe it could be very beneficial if I do it. I know how to do this puzzle, so it's not like it's going to be that difficult. Mm. 
See, I need to build like a path through here. So don't fall on me. I appreciate that. Just don't fall on me. There, I'm just gonna be smart about it. I'm gonna set up two. Perfect. Now we have to redo the normal puzzle. Get up there, get the chest, and then be done with this shrine. Okay. Please be something good. Ancient core. Uh, I was hoping for something better than that, but... Ah, uh, beggars can't be choosers, so whatever. I was hoping for something that would help me survive the cold better. It's clearly cooking a bunch of cold, warm stuff didn't help like I was hoping it would. But I mean, I'm making good progress for someone who shouldn't be traveling through the cold. I'm doing a pretty good job at it. Like heck, I'm magically at an inn. Or a stable. Somehow. Apparently. I don't know how people can live out here. It's crazy. You're crazies. You're crazies. Well, maybe not that crazy. Just cold. If you learn how to deal with it, it's not that bad. Unless it's just extremely bad, but... Yeah. The cold. Alright. I'm still cold. Snowfield stable. I can't hang out for too long. I know I'm cold too, Beetle. I would talk to you, but the game won't let me. Yeah, yeah we meet again. I didn't really dress, up, dress for the weather here, but the world needs Beetle's goods. What are you looking for? Or are you selling? I'm sure there's something you'll find useful. Please, have a good look. Um... Arrows. I will buy those. I will also buy all 20 of your other arrows. Yes. I need arrows really bad. So now we have 30 arrows, not bad. <laughs> Must be so great, you do know what I'm talking about, right? No. I knew you would, I said yes, but anyway. I knew you would, it's every dreamer's dream, is deer's dream, isn't it? Having a sword that shoots light up all like wham and mows down all kinds of monsters like Kapow would be amazing. I mean, even the name, the sword that seals the darkness, is just the coolest thing ever. Yeah, I'll have it eventually, dude. Ah, oh, Traveler, eh? Can you spare a minute to listen to a bored old retiree tell a story? When you get to be my age, you start reminiscing about all the memories from your childhood. <laughs> to be honest, growing up out in the middle of nowhere, well, there weren't really other kids around. My only friends were Harry and Mary. I remember playing with Harry out in the maze and Mary out by the ruins. Tell me about Harry. There's an enormous maze beyond the Tabantha Tundra just north of here. I don't know who built it or when. The adults always said not to go it, go near it. They said it was too dangerous there. One day I urged Harry to go into the maze as a test of courage. I, I never saw him again. I learned the hard way that it is really dangerous there. Children have no real sense of danger, I suppose. To this day, the mere memory breaks my heart. Yeah, sure. Tell me about Mary. Maybe you've seen the big canyon to the southeast. There are some secret ruins down at the base of that valley. I don't know who built them or when. The adults said no. Of course. One day, Mary and I went out there to explore and search for the ruins. In the blink of an eye, Mary lost her footing. She slipped and tumbled down the cliff. I never saw her again. Sometimes a child's innocent curiosity can cause tragedies that could never be taken back. That memory will haunt me until my dying day. As I grew older, I learned to overcome my grief over losing them. You can't change the past, only the future. Harry and Mary never made it back, but two of their descendants are in that stall over there. My only friends out in these parts were horses, you see? I suppose that's still true to this day. Hello. 
I've traveled to the east and the west in my great hunt for information, and now I find myself here in the freezing north. I heard that there is a stall horse in this area, but I can't take it any longer. It's too cold to look anymore. A stall horse. Beep, beep. You just set off Junelle's intuition sensors. You're interested in the stall horse too, huh? I just wanted to see this see this creepy stall horse monster once with my own eyes. If it, does, it really does exist, it'd be such a big scoop. But when I can handle all the kinds of dangers and hazards, but this, well, I, but this cold burr, I can't stand it. Can you handle this task for me? I'll even reward you. All I need is a picture and, or some notes. Sure. Good answer. There's a rumor that it can be found with Stockholmans in the North Tabantha snowfield. Once you've reported it all the way on the other side of the snowfield to the east, right in front of these bizarre ruins. Good luck, I'm really counting on you. Okay. Hi. I'm still dying even in your house. I should really get the heck out of here. Hi, doggo. What is all this? Wood. Okay, I need to get the heck out of this Psycho Tabantha stable area. Or whatever it's called. Snowfield stable. It's too dangerous for me. Uh, let's just go back to the tower. And... Let's start making our way. I guess. Because I, I want to keep going. I want to keep going. But I need to make my way. Maybe I should end off here. No, and I'll end off here. Next episode, we will explore a little further into the snow. We'll continue our way toward the Ruto. This was a nice detour, because we got a tower, a shrine, and found a new stable. And now we're going to start heading toward that tower over there. So for now, I'm going to pause so I don't end up dead. And that's it for the episode. So I hope you guys enjoyed this one. I had a lot of fun exploring the snow area. I like how I'm not even suitable to be here, and yet I'm traveling around here. Horrible idea. I don't recommend what I'm doing, but it's working for me, so I'm going to keep it going. But either way, thank you all so much for watching. Subscribe for more Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild, and I'll see you guys in the next episode. Alright, see ya.